Now let's see how to use this charm. The very best way at all that you can do the metric conversions. Let's look at some individual specific problems. Okay, right here. You've got this pill and it says it's a 500 milligram tablet or something or other, whatever the medicine is. It's 500 milligrams. But you need to know for some reason, how many grams is that the same thing as? So we need to convert 500 milligrams into the equivalent number of grams. Well, here's the way we do that. Let's say, and this sounds corny to even say this, but wherever you are right now, you're at, you may be at your house. Let's say you're at your house and you want to go visit your friend who lives that away, east, three miles. So when you leave where you are to go visit your friend over there, you know you're right here right now. So where do you go and how far do you go? You go that way, east, three miles. Well, on the, ch on the chart here, what do we know? Where are we right now? We're at 500 milligrams. Well, forget the number. We're at milligrams. That's right here. So this is where I am right now. I'm right here. Where am I trying to get to? Well, I'm trying to get uh, grams. It's over here. So if I'm at milligrams, I know how much that is, and I'm trying to find grams, which way do I go? This way, left. And how far do I go? Well, Here's what the way it's set up. I'm starting here. I'm going one, two, three. I'm going three little jumps, three little segments to the left. Here's what you do. All we do, the way this works, is you move the decimal point. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, there's no decimal point in this number. Let me talk about this. Every whole number any whole number, the decimal, although it's not put down, is at the far right-hand side. Like the number 18. That's the way you write the number 18, but the decimal goes right there. For example, if it was 18.4, well, the decimal goes there, okay? At the far right of a whole number. So 500, although you don't write, never write the decimal if there's nothing else past it, but Temporarily, we must put that decimal right there. That's the dot. Well, that's where the decimal's starting. Where's the decimal going? As we said, we're going from here to here. We're going left. How many places? Three. I move that dot one to the left, two, three. It ends up right there. And now the dot ends up right there. Now, some major cautions. What is that number? Well, one thing is you must put a zero to the left of that dot. But also, these zeros you never put there. Now, I know we're talking about a whole lot of topics all at one time. I'm so sorry. You would write that 0 0.5. 0 0.5 what? Grams. You see, 500 milligrams is the same thing as 0 0.5 grams. So, number one, first, no we're going to do lots and lots of these until you're sick and tired of all this. I know you're already sick and tired, but that's okay. We must know how to do it, but know how to write the numbers also. Because you move the dot, one, two, three to the left, there's two rules. It's a my silly term, two zero rules. You must put a zero to the left of the decimal point if there's not another number there, which there was not. And other zeros to the right, these trailing zeros, drop them. Don't put them down. So here's the caution. You would never put 0.5. Mm -mm -mm, you wouldn't write that. You write 0 0.5. You also wouldn't put any of the zeros right there. Mm -mm -mm, let's run, drop those. Get rid of those. No, do not need to exist. They're a violation of federal law. Don't put them down. Let's keep going. Do some more. Hope you have that down. We're now going to convert 0 0.35 grams and see how many milligrams that's the same thing as. You've got this pill, it's a 0 0.35 gram pill, but I need to know how many milligrams is that the same thing as? Well, let's see what that is. Where on the chart am I right now? Where am I starting from? Grams, right there. Where am I going? Uh, milligrams. So I'm going which way? That way, to the right. How many jumps? How far? One, two, three. I'm going three jumps to the right. 
So I start out with my 0 0.35. I move to the right now. Let me show you this 0 0.35. I got to move the dot, the decimal point, three places to the right. I go one, two, uh oh, but put another little jump. And you put a zero to take up the space. And the dot ends up right there. Well, what number is that? Of course, that number doesn't need to go there anymore. It's 350, 350. Now, I caution again, you don't put the dot at the end of a whole number. It's implied that it's there, but you don't write it down. Somebody asks you, well, how many bucks do you have? Oh, I got $5. I got $5. You wouldn't say five with a dot there. You just say five without the dot, okay? So, 350, 350 what? Milligrams. So, I know that 0 0.35 grams is the same thing as 350 milligrams. Ta -da. How about some more? I know you can't wait. You have 120 milligrams of something or other that you need to know. And we'll see later why you need to do this conversion, but it's going to come up all the time. It's very important. I want to convert 120 milligrams and see how many micrograms that is the same thing as. Well, where am I right now? I'm in milligrams. That's right here. Where am I trying to go to? Micrograms. I'm trying to get to over here. So if I'm right here right now and I'm trying to go to there, I move which way? To the right. How many places? One, two, three. I move the decimal point, the dot, three jumps to the right. So it starts out, wait a minute. Milligrams to micrograms, look at this. And you'll see, I'm only doing, you'll probably never have one like this in the real world, but you're gonna see some of these perhaps in your home where someone prepare you for it, these weird numbers. Where is the decimal point? Well, at the end of a whole number, it's right there. So I move it which way? My goodness, three to the right? That means I go one, two, three jumps. I put zeros in there to take up the space. That's 120,000 micrograms. And again, you'll probably never use numbers like that in the medical field, but know how to do it. It's, a, it's consistent stuff. No matter what it is, it's the same old stuff all the time. Now, about writing that number. Anytime a number is a thousand or larger, it's really better to put a comma. I mean, the comma goes right there. So 120,000 micrograms. There you have it. Now the board's all cluttered up here. I need to stop this. We're going to go over more of these in the next exciting lecture video.